Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Simply Safe Video Doorbell Pro. So, this is Simply Safe's most current video doorbell. And the first thing that you need to do to be able to get this installed is turn off the power to your existing doorbell. So you can see that this is lit up and if we were to press the button, it's going to ring and you know that it's currently working. Now, if your existing doorbell isn't lit up or isn't working, there's a couple other options to make sure that you've got the power off to this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure we have the power off by going down to our circuit breaker and turning off the circuit breaker for this doorbell. Once that circuit breaker is off, the light's going to go off, but it also is no longer going to work like a doorbell. You're not going to get that chime. Now, let's say that you don't have an existing doorbell that's working, but you want to make sure that you're working on this safely. What you can do is use a multimeter once we remove the doorbell and ensure that that power is off, that you've got the correct circuit breaker. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to turn the power off at the circuit breaker for this doorbell, and then we're going to confirm the power is off. So now we're down here at the circuit breaker and we're gonna turn off the circuit breaker that's for the doorbell. So we just go ahead and flip that one. Sometimes it's gonna be labeled on your circuit panel. Sometimes you might need to try a couple of these until you confirm you get the doorbell power turned off. And now we're gonna go back up to the doorbell. All right, we're back up at the doorbell and we confirm the power is off because the light's no longer on on this doorbell. And when we press it, it no longer works. But let's say you had a doorbell that you didn't know if it was powered on or powered off or if you got the right circuit breaker. What you're going to do is you're going to remove this carefully. So you got these two screws here. Remove those. There's some contacts on the inside. Try and make sure that you don't touch those with your fingers or with your screwdriver or anything when you remove it. And then we'll show you how you can test to ensure that the power is off at your doorbell. Now that we've got the screws removed, we carefully pull the doorbell forward so we can go ahead and inspect it and we can see those two wires on the inside there. So one way we can confirm that the power is off is by using a multimeter. We've got one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to voltage reading and let's see if we've got any power. Okay, we've got our multimeter hooked up and we've set it to voltage. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take a reading. We're gonna put one terminal on one screw and the other terminal on the other screw and we can see we're not getting any kind of reading there so we have confirmed that the power is off so you can go ahead and do the same thing if you want to confirm if your power is off or if you weren't sure if there was power going to your doorbell if you or if you got the right circuit so you're going to go ahead and put your multimeter on each one of these terminals and check to make sure there's no reading and now we are good to go ahead and remove the screws to each one of these Let's go ahead and remove each one of the screws. All right, now that we've got our existing doorbell removed, we've got our two wires here and we're ready to go ahead and attach the Simply Safe doorbell. So we got the doorbell here, but there are a couple other pieces that you need for the Simply Safe doorbell. You've got the base plate here, and then they include this other plate here that is if you want to change the angle of it. You can see it's got about a 15 degree angle. And what you would do if you were going to install it with this base plate on is you put the wires through there, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put the wires through that other small plate here and then you're going to secure it with the two screws so you can either angle this downwards or upwards I typically recommend angling it upwards so that when someone's close to the door you're going to be able to see their face but maybe you've got a stairway coming up to your door and then you would maybe want to angle it downwards but I'm going to go ahead and just install it uh, vertically with no angled base plate so in order to do that I'm just going to put the wires through here and then I'm going to go ahead and put my two screws in right here and right here and then I'm going to attach these wires and you can see it's got this little cardboard piece right here and that's because we need a little bit of extra clearance in order to slide this on this will actually go on and then slide down so you can't have anything directly above this just where that blue tab is so that you have enough room to slide the simply safe doorbell in place. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put our two screws in and then we're gonna slide this in place and we're gonna go ahead and take out this little clearance tab because we know we've got enough here. So we take our wires, put them through the center of the plate, get this doorbell aligned where we want it to be aligned and I'm gonna go ahead and insert the first screw and then go ahead and screw this in. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert the second screw. 
Now make sure you've got this plate aligned how you want it with your door frame or leveled out and then you can go ahead and make a final adjustment or securement with this screw here at the top. Give it one more tight turn and we are good to go there and now we can go ahead and attach the wires. So here you're going to just make sure that you loosen up the terminals that each one of these is going to go on. So let's go ahead, loosen that one up a little bit. Let's loosen up this other one here a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you can just kind of straighten these out and you're going to slide them up underneath here and then you can go ahead and secure these. So let's straighten this one out here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide it into place here and now we're going to go ahead and secure it. Now we've got our white wire and let's go ahead and we're going to secure it to this terminal. Now it doesn't matter which wire you get to which terminal as long as you have them both connected. So the white one can go on either one or the red one can go on either one. Just make sure you've got a good strong connection there and you've got good contact with the wires. And now we're just going to tuck those in place a little bit and I'm just going to screw this in one more little bit so that we get it nice and snug here. And now we're ready to go ahead and install the Simply Safe doorbell itself. So all I'm going to do is put this just up above a little bit where the base plate is and then it's going to lock into place or slide into place so I can just get it there and then I slide down and now my Simply Safe doorbell is installed here and we've got it on the base plate. So we're ready to go turn the power back on. Now, one thing that you're going to need to remember is that this has a tiny little security screw that gets included with the packaging here. So it looks like this right here. And what that does is it locks this into the base plate so that no one can slide this off and just steal it real simply like that. So once you've got this installed, uh, you can go ahead and put the security screw in and they include a tiny little screwdriver that fits that security screw so right here it's going to go in like so and you just insert it down here at the bottom so we're going to go ahead and restore the power first but then once we've got everything set up let's go ahead make sure that we install the security screw and do not lose it because i don't know of anything that's going to fit in there real well that has this shape that you can find at a uh, big box store or your local hardware store so do not lose this let's go ahead turn the power back on at the circuit breaker is ready for setup. Follow the instructions in the Simply Safe app to get started. So maybe you heard it talking to us, but it took about two minutes after we turned the power back on at the circuit breaker for this to power up. It started talking to us. We got a green light and then we've got the flashing blue light. So now that we've got this installed, we're ready to go ahead and set it up on the Simply Safe app. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download the Simply Safe app create a username and password and log in. Now, before you forget, now is a good time once you've confirmed that the power is on to go ahead and get this set up so that you've got that security screw in there. So you just wanna make sure that you get it in the hole there and then you can use this mini screwdriver that's provided and insert it into here. And once you got that in there, it's nice and secured. And hopefully no one has one of these little screwdrivers that's trying to steal your doorbell. So kind of a nice feature there to make sure that uh, that's not gonna get taken. All right, so we've got this Simply Safe app open and you need to get to this screen. You might have to click through a few things like you don't have a base station and you're not ready for setup and that gets you kind of to this home screen. It's always trying to get you to sign up for a full system whenever you open up the app. So I don't really like that feature, but you can set this up without a base station and without having everything else set up. So in order to get this set up, the Simply Safe doorbell, you're going to go ahead and click on set up a system once you get here. And we don't have a base station, but if you do have a base station, it's a little bit easier. You just click on that and follow the instructions. But I don't have a base station, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And now it says, what are you installing? An indoor cam or a video doorbell pro? So you can install either one of these independently without having that base station. So we're going to click the video doorbell pro here. And now we can give our property a name. So I'm just going to call this one home and we're going to go ahead and click next. Now it wants us to choose the Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect this to. So go ahead and make a selection. It's probably going to ask you to enter your Wi-Fi network password. So go ahead and do that as well. Once we've got our password entered, we're going to go ahead and click next. 
Now we can choose a name for this. This is our front door, so we're gonna go ahead and select this. It says, have you installed your Video Doorbell Pro? We have, so I'm gonna click yes, it's installed. It says, is the light flashing white? A flashing white light means the doorbell is waiting for setup, so we've got it flashing currently. Let's go ahead and click yes. It says scan the QR code with your doorbell. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a QR code here on the phone, and then we're gonna put it in front of the doorbell. So let's go ahead, we're gonna remove this plastic here. And once we've got that code, we're actually gonna place our phone in front of the doorbell to scan it. So just read through the instructions here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now I've got my QR code. I'm gonna hold it in front of the doorbell. Now attempting to connect to Wi-Fi. And it talks to you saying that, okay, now attempting to connect to Wi-Fi once that video doorbell code is scanned. So I've got a QR code on my phone that the doorbell actually scanned. Kind of neat there. So once you scan the code, it's automatically going to go to the next step here. And it shows a live video feed of me right now. So go ahead and take a look at me in the camera there. And we are pretty much all done with the setup of our Simply Safe Video Doorbell Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done here. And now let's see what happens. It's connecting to Simply Safe. It's trying to sell me a plan so I can add a subscription to record 30 days of storage. I definitely would wanna do that if I was gonna leave this on here permanently. I would want to choose a plan so then you can actually review the video footage. Without a plan, you're gonna be able to see the live view of the video doorbell, but you're not gonna have that video doorbell footage saved. So that's gonna give you the most beneficial. If I wanted to click here, I could click choose a plan, see what they cost. Uh, Self-monitoring with camera recording, it looks like it's uh, $9.99 a month. I'm gonna go ahead and just X out of this. Uh, it says, do you wanna exit camera setup? No, we'll click back and see what happens here. I'm gonna click done, and now it's gonna once again ask us for plans. I'm gonna go ahead and click skip here, and just click yes, and now our Simply Safe Video Doorbell Pro has been set up, and I could choose whatever I want um, for that plan. I can always upgrade it in the future, or if I've got a security system and I wanna have that video footage included, or I've got a Simply Safe camera, you're gonna get a better deal than just buying the plan for individual devices. So you can see the front door is uh, right here, and I just click live, and then you're gonna be able to see me here. And I'm pretty tall, so maybe I should have put that uh, base plate on there that tilts it up, because when I'm about two feet away, all you see is uh, the bottom of my chin there. So this works just like any of the other video doorbells. You're gonna be able to review footage if you get that plan. You're gonna be able to have two-way communication through your phone and through the doorbell. Uh, it actually has really good resolution and picture quality compared to some of the other video doorbells I've reviewed. So kind of interesting there. It's got a uh, good, I think it's 1080 HD footage, but it obviously the video sensor uh, is pretty good because a lot of times uh, these wash out your face when you're underneath a covered porch like we've got here. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Simply Safe Doorbell Pro. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. If you want to learn how to test your transformer voltage, because this does take 8 to 24 volts for your voltage in the transformer. Most transformers are going to put that out, so no worries there. We've got another video that shows you how to do that. So thank you for watching this video. Please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.